Welcome back, everyone. We're still in Bergost. Not a problem. Uh, and we're just gonna walk around because we have some places to visit. We have people to find, people to help. Just gonna go around. Something on your mind? I can turn it up. Good day to you. So, have you heard about of all the trouble brewing in the south? Ah, oh, you probably don't care. You look like you don't look like a political type. Let's see. I think you've mi misjudged us. We're as interested in politics as the next guy. So, what's the trouble you're talking about? You're right. I don't give a damn. So, this is probably about the iron shortage. I take it. Well, from what I've heard, there's some tension between the nation of armor and the city of Baldur's Gate. Oh, something else. I've heard that the Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate think that um. Arms behind the iron troubles well, along the coast. Some people have even gone as far as that to say that arm might have been be preparing for to invade. I think it's just the usual rumor mongering that goes on from time to time. But then you never know. Okay. I think we were told about that. You need something, stranger. I've heard that arm is going to invade. Those damnable war mongering mutton heads should see it coming too. This iron. This iron thing is, has to be there, doing. You ain't from the south, are you? If you are, then I don't trust you. Right. So I had a bit of a look at the manual in between episodes, and they actually do have like um, little blurbs about uh, locations and and the uh, and the places. Well, places and locations inside those places. I probably should say something on your mind. So there is like some of the inns and the taverns in this place are uh, have a little blurb about them. Anyway, commoner. Simple logic says there must be magic treasure in the ruins of the magician schools such as Ulcaster. It is a treacherous task to get it to get to it. Dead wizards are not known to st sleep soundly, nor to wake jovial. Yeah. So this is probably this might be another hint from the mini quest mod. Uh, journal has been updated, so maybe not. I'm not sure. Should probably check in houses. No. I don't know if the door is just meant to be open that we're, um. The house that we're meant to go in and have a talk with, uh. Are you the lady? Hello, mate. You look a friendly face. Can I talk now? My children are waiting for me at home. Not good to leave them alone for long. But both. The husband and me just look for a way to keep gold coming in. Hard to keep food on the table when there is no work to be had. Yeah, he seems to be in a hurry to get home. Something on your mind? Did I speak to you? My damn shovel broke today. Uh, so yeah. Tier 2, he's got a piece of my mind. Yeah, people still... Iron shortage, iron shortage. That's what it's all about. Ooh, that is that is a stuck sound effect. Those children laughing in the background. You need something, stranger. Stranger. That those rank riding bandits are hired by the Amnish. Amnish. Shadows of Arm. It was called so. A Amnish, probably. Uh, it'd be like those money grubbers to pull something so low. Get. To the point where an honest man can travel the roads. So yeah, because because one of those one of those commoners just mentioned the uh, the school, the wizard school. That was actually um, detailed in the manual that there used to be a wizard school here 300 years ago, but it burned down due to uh, misusage of spells, I believe, or a spell battle, something. Something, something on your mind. All the iron that comes from Nashville has been tainted. It's those Amnish. Amnish. Up to their bottle headed tricks, I bet. We should just march over that little mine of theirs. I bet they are just faking all the trouble so they can weaken our guard and soldiers. Well, we will be ready when they come. Yes? Yes. Ashkel is a rotten town run by a bunch of brickers. Bet you design short is just another Am Amnish part. They would love to get a hold of Baldur's Gate, I just know it. Well, it's to talk with the town, that's for sure. Something on your mind? I might have to go in there. Should have been a merchant caravan through here just yesterday. Art that they have not yet arrived. 
they were supposed to bring iron down from the south. I bet they suffered the same fate as all the rest. Down from the south? Don't you, don't you mean up from the south? Well, doesn't matter here. Yeah. Whoop, let's have a look inside. Hello. Not a problem. Hello, mate. You look a friendly face. Oh, but what right are you in my house? I'm sorry for intruding, but I was just wondering what you were doing. Save your breath. I mean you no harm. I don't... By the right of might. Uh, my apologies. I must have the wrong address. I will leave you immediately. And well, you should. If my husband were to catch you here, it would surely be the end of you. Well, there's six of us. Oh, boy. Let's try this again. It's a bit crowded there. There we go. It will be done. Yeah, I, I guess we do have like di fake directions of the house with the spiders in them, but um, to see what there is to see. Checking barrels for uh, some loot. Hmm? Hello, mate. Done. You look a friendly face. It's arm. I just know it. Spies are poisoning the ore to weaken our borders. Everything points to them. I bet they are behind the bandit raids too. Why don't they grant dukes just invade? That would show them. So yeah, as I mentioned, I, I have played yeah, the enhanced edition be before, so... But I don't rightly remember just what the deal was with the iron shortage. So... I can't really spoil it for myself. Hello, mate. You look a friendly face. Are oh, those mercenaries that the whole town's been talking about? Well, get out of my way. We don't need the likes of you causing trouble. Don't you go and aggravate those bandits. It just makes them more vicious. Something on your mind? Good day to you. So have you heard of all the trouble brewing in the south? Oh. Did we, uh... Come across you already. Uh, but then, rumor mongering, you never know, Grand Dukes. Right. Have I run a lab? No. Hmm. Locked. Alright. Up to house, we're looking for. Oh, you look special. What do we have Greetings, there? mercenaries. I am Silky. Silky. That's been extraordinary. Excuse me, but I must ask you to leave me be. I am waiting for someone and do not wish to be distracted. Alright. So there is a character we will not be running across. Something on There was in the Enhanced Edition. Um, it's been pretty rare these days. With what the supplies in Nashville drying up. Trade routes, we are all to shut down from bad activity. I ain't heard from Oddity for a month now. Alright. I stand ready. It will be done. Look at it, Daryl. Oh, Glad to meet you, friend. I bet those rank riding bandits hired by that Amnish. Amnish. He likes his poor mongrel. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. All right. Hmm? Yes. Yeah. And it's been pretty rare these days, what with the supply in Nashville drying up, trade routes are all but shut down from abandoned activity. I entered from Waterdeep for a month now. Okay, we are really getting a lot of, uh... Getting a lot of repetition going on. Yeah, Nero was a mage in the enhanced edition that I did have in my group, actually. Um, but yeah, she felt kind of... she felt a lot out of place. Because it was pretty clear that she was uh, she was put in in the enhanced edition. Because a lot of her quests were just well. First of all, she had a personal quest. That's not really something that I think it's is usual uh, for all this game companions. And also, a lot of a lot of her quest was actually voiced. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you, Garrick. I think I know you, Garrick. Maybe we'll let you. Hmm, anyway. Hail, adventurers! I have a proposal for you. I have heard that you're an excellent group of warriors. Well, word travels fast. How would you like a well-paying job as a bodyguard for my mistress? I think we just ran across your mistress. Sorry, we don't hire out as mercenaries. We're always 
uh, on the lookout for money. Tell us more. Um, so I was kind of thinking about that. We, we, um, I, I, I'm not really sure if we have like a big main quest right now. Well, you could say you need to find out who killed Orion, but there's not really a clear path to a point to, to so you're kind of meant to just figure stuff out on your own uh, right now, so you can just basically do what you want, I, th I guess. Um, they kind of lure you, lead you towards Nashville, I guess, but uh, oh well. Uh, but yeah, we kind of, we kind of, uh, we need money, I guess, so sure. What? I'm Garrick and I work for Silky Rosina. She's the most skilled magician and actor along the Sword Coast. In fact, she's to play the Duchel pa she's to play at the Duchel 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 Palace before the month's done. But she's been having some problems of late. Some thugs have been hired by a Felder post to hurt her bad because she didn't perform at the inn when she was supposed to. You can't blame her for not showing up, but with a villain like Felder Post running the place. She needs mercenaries to protect her until she's ready to go to Baldur's Gate. She's willing to pay about 300 gold. What do you say? Sorry, kid. We're not interested. That sounds fair. Why don't you show us to your mistress of yours? All right. I think you've made a good decision. Now just meet me outside the Red Sheaf Inn. Oh, there we go already. I think Garrick might be, might be one of the characters that can join you. I mean, I'm kind of... Looking to rid myself of of uh, Zar and uh, what is his name Montara Montana. Should we talk yes, to Garrick? Yes, sir. This is my mistress, Mrs. Silky Rosina. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky Tespian Extraordinaire. All right, let's make a quick save to be sure. Let's have Greetings, a mercenaries. I am Silky. Despian extraordinaire. So, Garrick, these are the only mercenaries you could find. I guess I have to do. You look to be worth about 300 gold. That's what my little Garrick offer you, isn't it? I offered him 300 gold, just like you told me. Well then, I assume that Garrick has explained what your duties are. You must simply dispose of the ruffians when they come to threaten me. They shouldn't be too hard to deal with, but I would advise you to strike fast. Whatever you do, don't speak to them. That's a bit uh, suspicious there. One of them is a mage whose mystic words can sway even the wisest of man. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Here they come. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky, <laughs> Despian Extraordinaire. They're, re they're really getting all they can out of that uh, little voice clip. Here they are now. Feldepol's tugs strike when I tell you to. Greetings, Silky. We're here as you ask, and we have the... Don't try to threaten me. That won't be easy prey for you to beat on. I've brought friends. What are you talking about? We're here with the gems that... <laughs> Shut up. There'll be no weaseling out of this one. Strike now. Kill them all. That they're as good as dead. Stop this madness. We won't murder those who are obviously innocent men. Our deal is off. In any case, you're probably too cowardly to be any good in a fight. I'll deal with them myself after I deal with you. Oh, really? Well, we did get 900 gold out of it. Uh, so, Garrick, I am at your service. anything to say about this? Silky's dead. I guess she had it coming. You can't be evil like her to expect to get away with it. I'm out of a job now. <laughs> Would it be too much to ask if I could join up with you? Um. Ooh, crap. Can I? Are you sure you want to remove the body from it? Mm. Problem is, he had stuff. Oh, that sucks. Let me let me try that again. All right, did that again, and I unloaded uh, Zar. Yes, sir. Suki's dead. I guess she had it coming. Uh, can I join up with you? No problem. We'll remove Zar, and I'm pretty sure that uh, his friend will uh, leave us as well. Are you sure you want to remove this character from your party? Yep. Here we go. 
Done. Stop touching me! You, you're letting me go, but we had shared so much, so many good times. This is truly a sad day indeed. Goodbye, so sad, blah blah blah, and all that rot. Come along, Monteron. You are my counterpart, and we shall not be separated. Okay, looks like we have a new member now. Uh, let's have a chat with uh, these gentlemen. I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. Hey, thank you for stopping the evil witch before she killed us. Here, take this as a token of our appreciation. Drop an item on the ground, right? I'm you have need of me, if none are better. A bit filled up right now. Uh, what was that, actually? Potion of defense. Oh, that's pretty good. And what, what is this? Potion of invulnerability. That's also good. Uh, we picked up this. Order staff. So yeah, we need to we need to go around and uh, need to get to identifying some stuff. Oh, you have bolts. Interesting. So I, from what I remember, Garrick is a bard, I think. Yeah, it'd be pretty pretty cool to have somebody with a with a crossbow. I guess I should uh, probably buy some bolts. I could give him short bow until we have bolts. Well, I could probably buy bolts here anyway. That's fine. Uh, we do have a helmet. I don't know if you can wear that. Nope. All right. Uh, you are pretty full stocked up on stuff right now. Hmm. Yeah, I have to sort this out some other time. Need to go around selling some stuff. I could give some stuff to Garrick right now. Oh, you can have that one there. All oh, right, that's the uh, the empty bottle from the investigation. Uh, why don't you take some books? Maybe Garrick can in identify stuff, because... Isn't that what bots are good at? Don't they have, like, high law? Nah, I don't think they do. Well, not in this one, I guess. In that's, um... I remember it being s that way in... Uh, Icewind Dale. Icewind Dale just had a bard with very high law, so I could just give her items and she would identify them just automatically. Anyway. Um, and I'm pretty I sure... At your service. I'm pretty sure Garrick is a, uh, is a good nature. It's uh, chaotic neutral. Alright, well, better than, than evil. I could have a look in the uh, manual to actually... It does actually explain all the alignments. Because sometimes I have a bit of a... Bit of a... An issue kind of... Chaotic neutral. What would that mean? Kind of n n neutral on... Kind of in your... Regardless of anything. But... So you just live on a whim or something? I don't know. Uh... I guess he had to be neutral to be uh, um, being in leagues with that yes. which was he? They call it. Anyway, you, you spoke at me. Oh, that's still. Uh, uh, I have no need of you in my group at this time. Fine, but notice if my blade does not work for ye, you'll likely end up with it against ye. That is the thing. I'm not too. Sh I'm not sure about how that works. If um, what would happen, how I would get around if I can get like um, met old members back in any way. Well, now because they're still here. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't suppose they wait around here forever. Something on your mind? You look a lot like the bandits that raided my caravan. No, maybe it wasn't you. This crisis just had me on edge. I see bandits everywhere. Look, hope it all ends soon, one way or another. Locked. Oh, I thought this was. Uh, I thought it was the blacksmith. Oh, this might be it. Thunderhammer Smithy. Let's have a look in there. We can buy bolts. Will be done. Speak up, speak up! Hello, friend. What can I do for you this day? No need to trouble yourself and just browsing about your smithy. I have heard much about it. 
You can get out of my face. You could do nothing. I'll not buy armor from a shop in a backwater village such as this. Nothing. Um, yep, I like to browse. Oh, it's no trouble at all. You can expect nothing but best in service in Thunderhammer Smithy. Best armors in the land. If you need some help, don't hesitate to speak with Tyrim himself. We did actually hear quite a bit about this, uh, about this establishment. Kiss me, Vlarmy. What you wish done? Hello there. Is there anything I can do for you on this fair day? Could you show us what you have for sale? Is this, uh... Ooh, I, uh, I, thought, I thought it was meant to be a dwarf. Terum Therium. Let's see what you have for sale. Also, let's see what we can sell. So I don't know if these bandit scalps... If we are meant to just sell them? Or if we can hand them in somewhere. Uh, Morning Star, you can have that one. Do you have anything we could sell? Short sword. There you go. Water staff, we need... Oh, you can actually identify stuff as well. Maybe we should identify some things. It might be expensive though. Oh, you don't want that. You do want that. Okay. Uh, I am curious about those golden pantaloons, what they do. How much would it cost to have those? Oh, you, you cannot. I guess you can only do um, armors and stuff. That makes sense. What about rings? Can you do... Who has those? Who did I give them to? Oh, yeah, I gave them to you. Nope. Okay, he, do, he could do the girdles, but one of them we have to give away anyway, and the other one's cursed. Or the, maybe the one's cursed that we... So I don't think it'll help us anyway. And it's 100 gold right now. I don't want to... I don't want to be... Uh, a mace plus one. That's all quite a bit expensive. All oh, right, we need to buy some bolts. A dagger plus one. A dart plus one. Sling plus one. Ooh, we should probably buy that. 150 gold, that is doable. Water staff, long sword. Short sword plus one. Heavy crossbow, light crossbow. Arrow plus one. Oof. That's 150 for 10 of them. That's quite expensive. Uh, yeah, let's buy you stacks of those. Now you have three stacks. There you go, six stacks for you. Let's get you a uh, sling. And uh, that'll be it for now. Done. Let's do some extra darts. Switch that up. Uh, yeah. Should we give anyone that heavier? Eh, why don't you wear it? That's fine. Uh, yeah, so we need to sell that somewhere else. The ring. I kind of enjoy that stuff. I stand ready. It Not makes, a problem. It makes sense that a, uh, a smithy wouldn't be interested in some things. Speak up. Speak up. Hello, friend. What can I do for you this day? No need to trouble yourself. Oh, that's the same, same lines. All right. It's no trouble at all. Did you actually move? No, you just have two duplicates of one another. Speak up! Speak up! <laughs> no need to trouble yourself. All right. Three people. They all say the same thing. Hmm. Not a problem. With ease. I might need to have another look at that, um, uh, the the, uh, the flickering of the cursor, because I'm seeing it too now. I, at first I did not, but I'm pretty sure I had the, f uh, the frame rate uncapped when I started playing this, which was kind of silly, because I'm playing a game from 1998, and then you're uh, you kind of hear your fans speed up, because yeah, if it's if something is running at like I don't know how many how many how many frames it goes up to, maybe the thousands, maybe the hundreds. I don't know. Yeah, it got kind of trying to uh, 
well, trying to keep up is a big word, but yeah, it was, it was kind of running its fans, which... So I, I, um, I force fee sync, and now I get the, uh, the cursor flickering as well, which I mentioned last time, which I try to kind of negate with uh, messing with settings, but no luck. You know what? I think we've uh, we've been going long enough. We don't really have timers running or anything, but just from the looks of it, uh, yeah, we are still in Bergost, and we still need. To, uh, Need to do some more snooping around. Um, I had a look at the map in a manual. I think there might be a temple around here, or this might be the. Um, I don't actually know if the wizard ruins are on this map. They might be somewhere else, kind of the school that was burned down. Because uh, it did kind of mention that the people that live here kind of kind of feel that the uh, those ruins are haunted, so they yes. try to build far away from it in later years. So it might be on a different different uh, different map altogether. Could actually check because we're pretty close to the. Uh, let's see. Temple. Hmm. Maybe it's beyond that even. Could be. My hedge. With ease. Yeah. All right. But next time we'll uh, continue uh, our investigation into Bear Ghost because uh, we are no further with the um, with the man that turned to goo. <laughs> We need to look, be looking for a tuber who's probably hanging out in an inn somewhere or a tavern. If, that would be my guess. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching and farewell for now.